we are putting together the brushless drivetrain for Double Jeopardy. So we are just making an entirely new floor, pretty similar to the previous one, but with a lot of new motors in it. Here we go, we put the new floor onto the previous frame for Double Jeopardy. This will be the floor for the brushless drivetrain. Now it's time to bolt everything up. Now we're ready to put the guts into this robot. Here's Double Jeopardy with its new floor and some of the new brackets for the brushless drivetrain, of course, along with the large brackets for holding the cannon. And it's uh, ready to go all back together again and uh, have some fun. Getting our gearbox and motor and wheel assemblies ready to put into the robot. Looks like this answers the question, what can make the best cannon and battle bots even more formidable? Brushless drive system going in. That way we can put ourselves whenever, wherever we want, whenever we want, as quickly as we want, to shoot whoever we want. So changing the drivetrain in Double Jeopardy from brushed motors, two brushed motors, to six brushless motors uh, definitely changed the layout. Uh, one of the benefits we have, of course, of DJ being so big, uh, since we have a monstrous cannon, uh, we have a lot of room we can actually work with. Uh, what we did have to do, though, we had to uh, recite the, uh, the secondary tank uh, to a different location to uh, clear everything. You can see everything seems to fit in quite nicely. Uh, you can see the, uh, the castle motors, the castle mambas for speed controls. Just a little bit more and then it's uh, ready to go. And here we go, we have Double Jeopardy's brushless drivetrain all installed and ready to test. Double Jeopardy 2021 brushless drive bench test. Here we are, the Double Jeopardy 2021 brushless drive test. Let's see how this goes. 